the cheap auto Bathurst 1000 of 07. Owen Kelly is in car number five. He also needs to stop. Going past him right now is Greg Murphy. Stephen Johnson has also got through. It's spitting up there, Matty. And, uh, car number five, the Orcon Ford Performance Racing entry is on basically the same strategy as Jason Bright. Problem for Owen at the moment is that, unlike Bridie, he's 45 seconds down to the leader. And so even though he does have to make this other stop, when he inserts back into the traffic, he's not ideally positioned, and he just lost two spots in the last six kilometres. Probably because it's a bit nervous over the top of the hill with a sprinkle of rain here and there. Yeah, Macro, you've got everything crossed here, and you're doing the rain dance. Yeah, mate, uh, yeah, we, we really need some rain. We've got to stop again. Um, just for a splash, but uh, we're also going to put a set of tyres on, um, some nice fresh tyres to, for Brody to finish off with. But, uh, you know, the team have done a really, really, really great strategy today, and um, it could have come off, but um, unfortunately um, we had a wheel jam in one of the stops, so uh, that sort of, you know, it just messed it up just that little bit, and uh, we're going to miss out by about eight laps. When he gets back out there, what sort of a toy has he got to play with? He should fan out just off the podium, somewhere there, somewhere there close. Yeah, hopefully, you know, we're looking pretty good for top five. But, uh, mate, bring on the rain, because if it rains, then we can get our tyres and our fuel, and we can stay with our lead we've got. Go get those dancing shoes on. <laughs> Please, bring it. Brighty's going to come in in the not-too-distant future about uh, lap 153 or thereabouts. It's a little bit earlier than we were predicting because I've intervened on one of their radio chats. And uh, he'll need about 30 litres of fuel. Let's talk about rain. And quite a bit of it up there at the moment. And to get that sort of fuel load on, he needs seven seconds stationary to grab the fuel. And they're gonna, you heard uh, Adam say they're going to put tyres on it. But of course, if it rains, man, does it come alive for these guys? Because everybody's raining. got to come back in. I think it's coming down already. It's right in front of us. On the windscreen of... Jason. There you go. Just looks like the pitch is out. Well, Bridie's asking what are the chances of rain. Well, he's, he's best positioned to answer it because he's the one that sees what it looks like at the top of the mountain. And often when you're driving up there, you end up radioing back when you make the run up here to the top to the cutting and you give everybody a real good weather Make update. Sure you're very careful across the top, Chief. Wow. This changes the game, folks. This changes the game. Jason Bright's got 28.8 seconds margin. Rain is coming down. And if it rains enough, they've all got to come back in for wets. And he's the one that all he needs to do is grab a little bit of fuel, chuck tyres on and bolt back out there. They've told him to be super careful up here. It's definitely hitting our lenses. The question is, how much is falling at the top of the mountain? It's knocked a second out of their pace. Bright did a 10-9 that lap. Winterbottom a 10-2. Lowndes a 10-7. Stevie Johnson a 10-3. Greg Murphy a 10-3. The Brollies are out. This is where it hits first, obviously. Bright will get a good view of it and a good understanding. And boy, will this make a big difference. Oh, 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 Bright couldn't pull it up then through the right-hander before you get to the dipper and front left just pinched. The grip's reducing up there. He has a 28-second lead over Mark Winterbottom and more problems for car 67. Yeah. At the cutting, that's Paul Morris in a very dangerous position. Hard to turn the car around there. He'll have to have faith in the marshals. Race director Tim Schenk and Steve Priest to his right. And there is a safety car. They've called it safety car conditions, full course yellow. Now what do they do? Do they bring him in? He still hasn't made the call. They've asked the question. What's he doing? He's in. Jason Bright in. He's got a... Now what tyres do you put on it? What a gamble. They've got Slick Slade up. 
I wouldn't put cold slicks on. I'd leave warm tyres on it. They're putting them they're on. Putting, they're putting cold tyres on it. Hey, 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 hey. Did I see that right? Did they put cold tyres on that car on a cold, slick tyres on a track that's starting to get wet? I can confirm for you, Neil, they were slick tyres, cold, slick tyres thrown on. They made a change. They weren't ready. They were starting to get ready for the stop. The boys had jumped out into the lane to get ready, and then Jason appeared. So they had to jump around. So it was a little bit of a slower stop. The wets were here on standby. They wheeled these out about 20 laps ago, but they've gone for slicks. So Winterbottom's already gone by. Craig Lowndes has already gone by. And now Jason Bright pops out in third position. But on good condition tyres, depends which way the track goes here. Stone cold tyres though, others have got residual heat. <laughs> this is what happened to Paul Morris, right at the cutting, from side to side. Such is the slippery condition at the top that it trapped Paul Morris on the run up to the cutting. Couldn't pull it up. Lock the rears and whack into the wall here. Team Siramay cars have had their troubles. That was the celebration in the Fujitsu camp when they knew that they could get their boss in, Jason Bright. So the situation is this, under safety car conditions, we've got about 15 laps to go in the big one of 2007. Hold on, folks. We're going to the chicken flag.